Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. What a privilege it is again to be able to come into your homes from our home here in Baker Hill uh, to your homes right here in Montserrat or maybe in the neighboring islands in Antigua, St. Kitts, or Nevis or somewhere else across the Caribbean or maybe you are viewing from uh, North America or Europe or from some other location. It is indeed a privilege to be able to come into your home. Amen. God has been good to us. It is a beautiful Sunday morning right here on Montserrat. Yes, it's April 19th and we continue uh -huh, to feel the impact of COVID-19. Uh, yes, here in this nation, every sphere and sector of this society is experiencing the impact of COVID-19. Maybe we are supposed to be excited here today, Sunday, uh, in Montserrat, as the first phase of this total shutdown comes to a close tonight, midnight. Oh, but you know, we will have a three-day window, oh yes, break, just to do um, some shopping and replenish our stocks of food, uh, among other things. And then we will resume the second phase come Thursday, midnight, morning, Wednesday midnight, yes, Thursday morning, uh -huh, for yet another seven days, taking us on to Friday first. And so we nevertheless need to be thankful to God that he has allowed us the opportunity to be able, oh yes, to still come into your homes and to give God thanks, to give him praise and to celebrate this post-resurrection Sunday worship and experience, oh uh, yes, as we anticipate the mighty hand of God doing great things in our lives. So I welcome all those who are watching at this time right here in Montserrat. Good morning, yes, good day, good afternoon, and we are just going to trust God to take us through this beautiful worship experience as we honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in our midst. Oh, praise God. So welcome, and I thank you for watching and for viewing at this time. But let's just acknowledge the goodness of the Lord, uh, yes, as we go boldly onto the throne of grace, where we can obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. I want you to just bow your heads. You may be in the kitchen, in your homes, or maybe in your bedroom, or perhaps, you know, maybe in the bathroom, in the living room. You may be on the patio. Uh, you're just uh, relaxing and just getting ready to have this beautiful time of worship. So good morning, good day, and I give God thanks and praise at this time. Let's pray as we look to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to you on this beautiful Sunday. This is truly the day that you have made. And our desire is to rejoice and to be glad in it. In spite of, oh God, the circumstance, the situation that we find ourselves in, yet God, like, like it was Habakkuk who says, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation in spite of the fact that everything may not be going oh Lord the way we would want it to be we would have, oh, many would have loved to be in the houses of worship in the buildings across Montserrat and across the world but nevertheless we are alive and you said that the dead cannot praise you only we who are the living, the living oh Lord can praise you so we ask you, God, that you would move throughout this time, O oh Lord, of reflection and devotion, O oh Lord, of prayer and thanksgiving unto you, that, Lord, as your people are watching, hallelujah, at this time, or others who may watch a little later, that, God, their lives would be changed and transformed for your honor and for your glory. We acknowledge that truly God, you are the God of miracles and you have all things under control. Nothing takes you by surprise. And so we trust in you, hallelujah, that you are going to see us through, amen, because you are the Alpha and you are the Omega. So we thank you and we praise and we celebrate, amen, what you're doing at this time. 
here in Montserrat and across the region and further afield, we give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. I give him thanks. Let's give him thanks. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you've done. Oh, I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh. This morning, thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you done. Oh, I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Anybody is grateful this morning. Hallelujah. Anybody is truly thankful to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you truly blessed? Amen. If you are breathing the breath of life, well, that's enough blessing to be thankful to God for. Amen. Praise God. Can we continue in this atmosphere of worship? Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm leaving this morning. Oh, 
Anybody can attest to that this morning. Hallelujah. Anybody can attest to the fact that God's grace and God's mercy truly have brought you through. We are at the end of this first phase of turtle shutdown. This ending tonight midnight. And it's God's grace and God's mercy that has brought us through. Amen. We are living this moment only because of him. We want to thank and praise him too for his grace and for his mercy that has brought us through. Oh, we thank you. Amen. I'm sure in your homes you can lift your hands and just say thank you, Jesus. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise with a heart of thanksgiving I will bless you all oh Lord with my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with Amen. Yeah.
and all glory. Amen. We ought to be thankful to him today. Mm. This 19th day of April, it's the fourth Sunday since, you know, we are uh, bringing the service to you live from our home here in Baker Hill. And we want to thank God for this opportunity to be able to come into your homes. Yes, all the regular members and attendees of Faith Tabernacle Pentecostal Church and those who are viewing in England, in America, uh, across the Caribbean, it's a pleasure having you worshiping with us today. Oh, praise God. It's time for us to be thankful. Amen to the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised.
time to worship. Come on, enjoy it. Enjoy the worship. Worship the King. Worship Him this morning. Worship Him. He says, if you love me, where is my worship? Where is my worship? Where is my fear this morning?
Come on, God is opening up doors for somebody. Hallelujah. God is changing things for somebody right now. Come on, keep worshiping. Keep worshiping. Press in.
hotel. We command them to function and come against abnormality in cells right now. Receive your healing. I address lumps in the breast. Let's agree. Jesus. Pray knows the boundary. 
Let there be no hindrance to our prayers. And bind the spirit of doubt and uncertainty. And bind the spirit of fear right now. Because this is radical faith. We move to that hospital in St. Lucia. Where that brother is hospitalized right now. We may not be able to go, but we send the word of healing right to that hospital bed right now by faith in the word of God. He said he sent his word and healed them. By faith we confess healing on behalf of that brother right now. All those complications. Jesus, you can handle those complications. So do it for my brother right now, Jesus. Oh God, I feel the fire of God. a powerful heat in my hand right now. Jesus. 
Come on, he bore, he carried our sorrows. That's why he went to Calvary. Come on, come on, come on. You don't need to carry those burdens and that's what this altar is for. Come on, make an altar in your house right now. Make an altar, make an altar. I say, Lord, I'm bringing my hurts to you. Lord, I'm bringing my pain to you. Lord, I'm bringing my frustration, my worries and my cares to you. All to Jesus we can surrender this morning. Or this afternoon, whatever time zone that you are in, those who are in England, hallelujah. But come on, this is a day of freedom. I know you've been bound up in your homes for, oh, for us here in Montserrat, yes, several days, several days consistently. Moving from bedroom to bathroom to kitchen. Some of us did some walk around. to the Lord today. 
today. Give God what rightfully belongs to Him today. Give Him worship. Give Him true worship. Give Him sincere worship. Hallelujah. Worship your way through this. That's it. Worship your way through this experience. Intercession for us with groanings 
which cannot be uttered. Pastor, my son. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, let's agree. I pray for that son. God, you know the condition, the state of that mother's son. That motherhood looks around and cries out, asking the question, when will deliverance come? I hear the Lord say, this is the set time. Behold, now is the acceptable time of salvation. Now is the acceptable time of deliverance. The day of deliverance is here. So, Father, I thank you for bringing deliverance to that son. I speak to his mindset. God will, I see a padlock in the mind of that son. There's a
child will thou be made whole no need to offer any more excuses just said yes Lord I want to be set free I want to be healed I've been troubled in my mind for a long time my spirit has I want to be sent free to the pastor. Well, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. What is the truth? The truth is, Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. That is truth. Amen. For he says, the sick, they don't need the physician. But all in, sorry, the whole, the ones who are whole, they don't need any physician. It's the sick that needs the physician. And Jesus is the great physician. He says, for healing, for breakthrough. You're troubled. But like a bridge over troubled waters, he will heal your body. Come on. Lift your hands wherever you're at. And say, Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. I receive from you. I receive my healing. I receive my peace. Everlasting damnation. 
those of you who are watching we are taking this lightly that every soul that leaves this world have been ushered out into eternity if they've accepted Jesus Christ hell for all eternity will be their state. The only time we have is now. We cannot even go to the hospitals to visit them. We can't even go to each other's homes to visit. It's a different season that we find ourselves in. But we have the technology through the phone through WhatsApp, through Facebook, through the various means, we need to ask them, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior? For time is running out. And so it's our responsibility, the post-resurrection responsibility was given to the disciples. Jesus declared to them in Matthew 28 and verses 18 and 19 Go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature baptizing them in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you and lo I am with you all even on to the end of the age. I want to pray for those who are not saved. And you may need to stand in the gap for some brother, some sister, some uncle, some aunt, some friend. Listen. We stand between heaven and hell intercede for them snatching them from the jaws of hell and of death and seeing the translation into the kingdom of God's dear son right now I want you to pray and repeat this prayer after me for those of you who are watching on behalf of your family member shall we pray for them right now Say, dear Lord Jesus, I come to you now, admitting that I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Lord Jesus, you are my Savior. I ask you now to forgive me all of my sins. Wash me in your precious blood. I open up my heart, Lord Jesus, and invite you to come in to be my Lord, to be my master, to be my Savior. Thank you for dying for me and that you write my name the Lamb's book of life that from this 19th day of April 2020 I will live for you for the rest of my life I thank you and I praise you Amen and so Lord God you've heard those who've prayed and Lord even for those who are watching and have prayed this prayer on behalf of some family member. I pray God that you would even do that supernatural work that was accomplished at the cross of Calvary. And God, that you would draw them totally to yourself. That they'll experience the fullness of salvation 
and that you seal them with the Holy Spirit and with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for all those who are watching. I release your hand of blessing over their lives. God, it has been a challenging time for the world and for us here in Montserrat as you brought us to this final day of this first phase of this total shutdown. Lord, we thank you. And as we go through the next three days to be able to go to shop, to the bank, do to other specific businesses, I pray for order. Thank you, Lord. That, Lord, we will work and cooperate with the authorities and do that which is necessary. Practicing social distancing, hand washing, oh God, and the necessary steps and procedure to protect ourselves and families and others from any dreaded onslaught of COVID-19. And God, later in the week, when we will commence the second phase of the total shutdown, again, help us to cooperate and to be obedient. I pray for the authorities, our government, the police officers, the essential workers, the doctors, the nurses. Oh God, we pray for all this morning, not just here in Montserrat, but in the neighboring islands and further afield. God help us you will be with us continuously to the end of this crisis world pandemic and help us that during these moments of shutdown when we can't go anywhere that God will continue as families to continue around the family altar and to study your word and to pray and to offer thanksgiving unto you Oh God, as we continue, oh God, to revive the family altars around this nation of Montserrat and further afield. Help us to look at the good coming out of this situation. Because as believers, we still believe your word which says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, to them who are the called according to his purpose. So let your hand bless us continuously. Father, we thank you for this time, God, of, that we've spent just in prayer and worship unto you today. Thank you for my own family. My wife, Nats, who's here with me, assisted me, Nato, the keyboard who's assisted me. Thank you for Tony Lee. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you'll continue to work your way in our lives. That we'll continue to show forth your praises. Because you've called us out of darkness and into your marvelous lights. Father, we commit the rest of today's Sunday into your hands. Remember all of the other ministers. God, who are holding their services via this medium that the people would be blessed and would be challenged amen to move to another level of worship to another level and that of the Lord which maketh which and adds no sorrow would be their portion I pray for those who are bereaved today that you comfort their hearts those who have the buried loved ones this week Oh God, comfort the families right now and let your presence be with them because you promise according to the word that you are the eternal God and you are their refuge and underneath are your everlasting arms to support and to sustain and to preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus. Some families won't be able to come to the funeral I pray that you bless them nevertheless and help them and help all of us to be mindful that your coming is ever so near. So help us to be ready 
For in such an hour as we think not, the Son of Man cometh. So we thank you for this time that we spent. And may you continuous blessings be upon our hearts and lives. And we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' wonderful name, we say amen. We say amen. We say amen. We say amen. amen. Well, what a powerful time we've had. I have the Bible open before me to be able to focus on the post-resurrection message in uh, word in Luke 24. But we just didn't get there. We just flowed. The Lord wanted to do this morning. Trust that you receive your blessing. I thank my lovely wife, Nats, who has been here assisting me and just be there in the background and assisting with the setting up. Thank you very much, my dear. Love you. And of course, my son, Nathan, Joshua Allen, playing skillfully on the keyboard. Thank you very much for the part that you've played. And look, listen, let's just continue, you know, in the, 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 in the spirit of worship, even throughout to the Sunday and into the week, as families, let's just continue. Amen. Build the family altar to spend time. Amen. Supporting each other and to be there for each other and loving each other. Thank you for being a part, all of you who've been watching and sharing your comments. Thank you very much. God bless you. And until, amen, we come your way again. This is the fourth Sunday. Wow. That we have been bringing this service to you. Amen. From our home here in Baker Hill. Thank you, all those who've been tuning. Those who've been watching in England, God bless you. Thank you very much. And those who are watching in Montserrat and forever else you're watching, God bless you. Do have yourself a pleasant day. Pastor Tony Allen say, love you. God bless you. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless you.